Now we're going to discuss the types of invoice verification. So there are basically two types of invoice verification. First one is the purchase order based invoice verification. And the second one is the goods shipped based invoice verification. And we also talk about um, master data setting in this video. So let us start first with the good receipts based invoice verification. Now, as we have seen in the previous videos that we first create a purchase order and then we perform a goods receipt and finally we create, do the invoice verification. So this is a three step process and this is also known as the standard three step uh, invoice verification process. Now this is the most commonly used invoice verification process where it will it is divided between three steps. Now again you can you can talk about creating a purchase requisition. So those are the optional steps you can add but these are the three main steps. So starting from purchase order then goods received and finally the invoice verification. So in the previous videos uh, we have seen how we perform uh, this invoice verification. So let us discuss more about this one. So in this scenario, the SAP system allows you to post the invoices only after the goods receipt has been posted in the system. So if we have activated the setting, the setting we'll talk in a minute. So if we have activated the setting for the good receipt based invoice verification, then you cannot perform the invoice verification unless you have completed the goods receipt, which is my go. Invoices are matched with the received quantity of a purchase order. For multiple deliveries, the system provides each delivery on a separate line. So that's all about the good receipt invoice verification. Now there is another type of uh, verification, invoice verification process, which is known as purchase order based invoice verification. So as the name is saying, this is based on the purchase order, not good receipt. So basically what happens in this process is we create a purchase order and purchase order will be directly, will be a reference for doing the invoice verification. So in this one, good receipt doesn't matter. Even if, if you have performed the good receipt or you have not, doesn't matter, you can still do the invoice verification. This is also known as two step uh, invoice verification process. Now goods receipt is optional. You can perform it or you can do it later after the invoice verification. So in this purchase order based invoice verification, the system allows invoices to post with reference to a purchase order, even though goods haven't yet been delivered. The invoice can be posted both before and after the delivery of the goods. The line item of the purchase order are copied into the invoice posting screen at the time of invoice verification. This should be not Migo, sorry, this should be Miro. Let me correct this one. This should be Miro. And the scenario, this scenario is basically uh, mainly used where we need to pay the vendor in advance against an invoice before the goods are actually delivered. So in some scenario, we need to pay them in advance. So we will using this setting in those scenarios. Optionally, this option can also be used for a service item as well as where goods ship is not required. As well, where goods ship is not required. So that's a purchase order based in what's verification where we create a purchase order and directly we perform the invoice verification and goods shipped is optional. Now we'll talk about the master data setting required to uh, select which process you want to use. So basically what happens is we mainly perform, we make the setting in the supplier master or the vendor master, or you can call BP uh, transaction where you can see the purchasing data. So in the purchasing data, we'll, I'll show you in a minute, in the vendor master data or the supplier master data, in the purchasing view, we can, there's a checkbox where we can mention that, okay, this vendor is good zip based. 
if this is checked here in the bp uh, in the bp then it will be copied to the purchasing info record in me 11 transition you can check or create it so if it is maintained in the bp you it will be copied to the purchasing info record and for purchasing info record it will be co copied to the purchase order that we're going to create if it's not maintained in the supplier master for example then you can maintain it at purchasing info record level as well and from here it will be copied to purchase order or you it's not necessary to maintain at supplier master level purchasing info record level but you can manually change it at the purchase order level as well so so at at either of the uh, master data setting you can maintain it it will be flown to the next level up but if it's not maintained the previous level you can maintain it any level but it's if it's a vendor like that which is non goods received then we need to maintain it's good to maintain at the bp level because we don't need to remember to uh, to mark it in the at the info record level or the purchase order level so it automatically will be flown to the next level so in the in a supplier master setting if you look at the fury app here you can see under the purchasing view you can see goods received base invoice verification which is, should be ticked and if you're looking at the gui screen then you will see like here under the purchasing data view in the purchasing in the uh, in the purchasing view of your uh, supplier master you can also see that in the in the pi record so here there's a checkbox for the pi record and also you can see that in the purchase order here so let me show you all these uh, three settings in the system so here if i first i show you in the bp level so you can either check at the in the fury app or check here same thing so here you can see 2410 and select this role flbbn01 which is our vendor purchasing view and here once you select that view let me go to the general tab first so here you select that view from here flbn01 and then you go to the purchasing tab and when you go to the purchasing tab should be under the purchase da purchasing data which is the first tab here if i scroll down you won't be able to see it because the font size is a bit higher uh, because this bp screen is bigger so if i change the font size let me quickly show you i need to make the font smaller and then you'll be able to see that so if i make the font size 14 okay apply okay so i need to open a new screen in order to in order to make these changes effective so now you can see if i open a new screen the fonts are now shorter now if i open bp transaction So here we are so here you can see a uh, bigger picture so here if i scroll down so under the purchasing data tab you can see um, here this one control data good received based invoice verification so this is ticked here so this is ticked here it will be copied to the pir record so let me quickly show you the pir if i go to me1 m transaction which is searching for a info record and just search for this my shaft 123 material code i'll double click on it i can go to the chain mode so here you can see this is ticked here so if this is ticked here this will be copied to the next level up but at any level you can untick them and that will not affect the previous level and now finally if i show you in a purchase order if i go to the chain mode let me see this purchase order so here if i go to the item details and if i go to the invoice tab here you can see good seed based so here you can see this is grayed out because uh, this might be uh, good uh, the uh, invoice verification completed otherwise you can you should be able to change it here you can see the purchase order history if i go to purchase order history you can see 
the follow on transaction has been done that's why system doesn't allow you to change it you can see uh, material document created invoice receipt is created that's why you can't change it if it's not performed then you should be able to uh, change it here so that's how we maintain it so that's all about this so just a recap now we learned about the purchase order based invoice verification we also learned about the goods receipt based invoice verification and we have seen the master data setting required to to activate these settings so that's all about this thank you very much to watch this